There was never quite a baseball game like Nintendo Baseball. As one of the first black box releases, it was pivotal to the Nintendo success in its early years. It grew up with the likes of such games as Donkey Kong, Kung Fu, Ice Climber, and of course, Super Mario Brothers. But as a tried and true American, who could resist loving something more American than baseball? You know, I'll always be a fan of uh, Nintendo Baseball. I mean, who could forget the intro music when that came out? I was like, do, 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 I mean, I could hear it in my head. It's a baseball classic. I really don't see what the big deal was. The game was absolutely terrible. I mean, what am I even doing here? What do you guys want from me? But what baseball game would be complete without some of the greatest baseball teams in history? Teams that would go on to win multiple world championships like the Wise, or teams that would become victim to a curse that would make them wait over a hundred years for theirs, like the famous Seas. And who could forget the D? Everyone was a fan of the D. Oh, I loved the D. Ever since I was a kid, I had to play the D. I mean, when my friends came over to play Nintendo Baseball, they're always like, what team are you going to play? I was like, I got to play the D. I love that D. We always fought over the D. I mean, they couldn't even afford real teams. Nintendo didn't have a license for baseball. It was a load of crap. They couldn't even add names to the players. I mean, honestly, they were just blank. Some of the greatest games in sporting history were played over Nintendo Baseball. When someone mentions Nintendo Baseball, it's hard not to think back to that famous moment in history. When the D blew out the P in Game 7 of the World Series. I'll never forget that game. D was just coming off a three-game losing streak. It was all down to the wire. I'm not gonna lie, the D was in trouble. Everyone thought the D didn't have it in him anymore. But I knew the D. The D was gonna do it. You know, I was in the stands that day. Nosebleed section. But by God, it was worth every second of it. The crowd was amazing. It was a perfect day, too. I remember my pa telling me that morning, Son, today you're going to see real baseball. And I admit, it was good baseball. By God, it was good baseball. It would be the last game on the field that day for greats like Bloody Nose Joe McSwiggin and Red Rover Ralph. They would retire soon after, but they'd always have a home on their team and be loved for all eternity by their fans. There were some incredible plays made that day to the first career home run by batter Stuffins McGee, to the incredible throw from center field by Mutzkalubbin. That ball is going! Going! No job. No job. It felt like Nintendo Baseball was the real last baseball game ever made. Now everyone shoots up steroids or needs to get their Tommy Jane surgery or whatever that is. Not back then, no. Back then you played through it all. Doesn't matter how many controllers you were using, whether it was Dog Bone or the NES Classic controller, you played through it. That was when baseball was real. As much as I hated it, it was still baseball to me. Three strikes, you're out, kid. That's what my pa said. Sure enough, the third strike, I was out. They kept the rules. They kept the rules. But beyond the plays, and the game itself, there was camaraderie on that field. Players not only came together to play the game, they came to live their life, to live their dreams. It was a game for boys, it was a game for men. It was where players came to play, a little game by the name of Baseball.